YouTube here on this, uh, well, this is actually being uh, recorded on Tuesday afternoon. Uh, you guys probably, I already put that in there about the uh, socket and there's the uh, uh, rest of this. You know, I, I kind of forgot about a lot of stuff here. Um, I When I didn't want to get the uh, coil out and mess with it, I just kind of skipped uh, skipped over a lot of this stuff here. Uh, I didn't put that in. I did put this in. I didn't put that in. Uh, well, yeah, I did put that in. But I didn't. Uh, I didn't do any of this. And like I said, I, I need to get that done before I can even think about putting that socket in. And I, like I said, I still need to get that ground wire for the socket. Um, so. Bill has suggested, uh, that'd be old 64 GOAT, that I put a capacitor in between this and the tube socket, which is not a bad idea. Uh, a little DC blocking there, protect the phone or whatever I got hooked up to it. And uh, that will probably be done. Now he also suggested changing the 82 uh, picofarad cap, I believe here, with... Uh, yeah, this is one here across the coil with a tuning cap and I don't it's not going to bother me that much you know for where I'm at here I have very very limited I have one station in that range so I don't really have a problem like that so but anyway what I'm going to do today is get or finish up with this is get the uh, uh, two capacitors in to the coil and uh, one of them doesn't get soldered. I think that one gets another thing from the tube socket. And get this one in across there. That one doesn't get soldered. And I'm, <clears throat> I'm assuming there is a wire. It says hookup wire. So I'm assuming there's a wire uh, from that red stash that I've got. It goes from there to there. Now this does not say do not solder here. So I think when I put that red wire on I can solder that. So... That's what we're going to do, and I'm going to try to, to film this, uh, and when I say film, I mean <laughs> video, uh, but uh, I want to, you know, I may speed it up, I may do some other stuff to it, but I'd like to get as much as I can on, because I'm not really doing a lot, I'm just basically doing these things and then showing you what I did. So um, I want to try to maybe get a little of this uh, actual construction on the video too, so... Let's get started. Well, you can see I've got the that soldered. Um, this came loose, which you know that's one of the reasons I didn't really want to mess with this. But you know I've done did it. So what you can do about it now? It's still attached to the coil, but it came loose from the coil form itself. So I'm trying to bend that back around to where it stays down like it's supposed to. It won't. It won't. Won't matter much if uh, as long as. Uh, it stays in that position. Uh, I think it will. Got the rest of that soldered. On this side here, I think you can see that. Like I said, that coil is just, uh, I don't like the way they do that. But that's not here or there, I guess. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep fooling with this until I, I break that little wire off. And, uh, I'll be sorry then. That's where I wanted it, right there. Now I've got to solder this end down here. That'll be less of a problem, I think. I think I need my soldering iron as hot as it'll get for this. Alright, there we go. That is soldered now. So this and this is soldered, that's soldered. Next thing to do is put that 82 picofarad cap on there. 
trying to keep this where you guys can see it. It goes from here to here, but it doesn't get soldered right away. So I think what I'm going to do is put the, um, I think there's a 47 point, yeah, point 47. No, it's a 47 pick parrot cap goes over here to here. And I think I'm going to put that there now. So. I may go ahead and solder that to the 82 and then solder both of them to that. Maybe that will allow me to um, not put so much pressure on that. This here was just too stiff as far as. Uh, you know, trying to solder that, and as soon as I soldered it and tried to move this into position, it just tore that uh, terminal away from the, the coil form, and you know, that's what happens. Like I said, as long as that wire stays, I'll be okay, but if that wire breaks, then I've got problems. So, that's where I'm at. I've got to go stop here and go get Kylie. And, uh, Turn everything off. So we'll be back in a little bit. All right, we got a little breaking stop here. We got the uh, thing I've got to figure out here. I have two disc capacitors left. One is clearly marked 82. This one here. So I have to figure that is the 82 picofarad that uh, goes on across the coil. So, alright, that's that. The other one is marked 47K. Now, <laughs> everything I see online and things like that indicates that a 47K capacitor is a 47 microfarad, not picofarad. So, but it's the only one left. So that's all I know to do is to put it in between that and the, in the antenna connection and that's where it absolutely has to go, I guess. So that's what I'm going to have to do, I guess. I checked all the other capacitors and they're all, you know, correct as far as where they go and uh, stuff like that. So like I said, this is the only one left, so <laughs> pretty much going to have to go there. So, I need, like I said, now, in the meantime, while I was picking up Kylie, I had a little epiphany. I think what needed to be done, and whoever gets this kit, um, Stan, for one, if anybody else gets it, Gary talked about it. The best thing to do on this is to take a really thin wire of some kind, it doesn't, it doesn't matter about the length that much, but something you can wrap around each one of these terminals that are used, solder that into the coil, and then solder your wires to that wire, or your, your connections, whatever goes there. I think that would make it a lot easier on the coil uh, in the long run, I hope. But uh, like I said, it's, uh, it's too late for me, but... <laughs> It's not too late for anybody else. So I, I do I do plan on getting another one of these, not for this. But uh, I was going to try to do that with this one and make a connector. It would have been the best alternative be in the long run because these these things are just so fragile. These uh, little lugs on here are, are just not very, they're not glued very well or whatever. But like I said, I'm lucky enough to where that's still attached and can be used so I'm not going to say too much more about that but anyway like I said I just kind of wanted to point out to the fact that uh, this is uh, going to be a little bit different or it should be you know something else that it's not but there's not much I can do about it so all right bring you back in a minute all right now what I've come up with let me turn this down what I come up with on this is I went ahead and soldered that to the lug and it's just, like I said, they're too fragile to not do that. And then when it comes time to connect the other wire, I'll just connect it to the leg of the uh, capacitor. Same thing. It just, you know, you don't have to mess with that. 
and I'll do the same thing on the other side with this capacitor here, the 82. I'll, I'll solder it in there, and then if there's, I think there's another wire that attaches to it, maybe, or maybe not. I think. Let's see. It says no solder, so there must be something else. That, okay, yeah. Uh, the 220 picofarad from the tube socket solders there. So we'll just solder that to the leg of the uh, capacitor and that will work out much better I do believe so that's what we're going to do now I, I checked I thought this was a sleeved thing here but the only thing that gets sleeved is that 220 that I can see so that's what we're gonna go on so I've got to try I think I'm gonna go ahead and glue this in this hole it doesn't fit very well to begin with so I think all I'm going to do is try to glue that in there to keep that as you know as as taut as I can this here is done this here I've got to get over to the other side to uh, solder and I'm going to hold down on that while I do it because I don't want it moving. See now I think that's getting kind of close to that there but I think I can move it up a little bit more yet. I, I soldered that bad. I should have soldered it this way but I didn't. I didn't think about it. So. Like I said, it's just a matter of getting this thing positioned in the right place. And maybe if I try to bend this one a little bit, maybe that would help. There we go. Now we've got plenty of room. It's not even close to that at all now. So, All right, that's that. Like I said, this gets the uh, one from the uh, tube socket. And that's this is all done. Everything is really done to the uh, coil itself, so we don't have to worry about that. And every, we got away with pretty good there, except for this one, and I, I think that's the only one we've had any kind of problem with. It's still connected to the small wire, and as that is the case, I think we'll be all right. Now I am going to, I see another little tidbit that needs to be lobbed off here. I don't like these little tidbits. There we go. Get that out of the way. There it is over there. Get it. Yep, that's off. All right. Now, like I said, this uh, this piece here. Oops. Wrong, wrong way goes like that and that gets soldered to this connection over here this this 82 picofarad or not the 82 22 is it 22 I've done forgot what it was whatever it was that's one gets soldered to the 220 that's a 220 okay anyway we've got to sleeve that and run it over there to snake it in there. Uh, that's going to get done last, or not last, but I want to do this this part here first. I got to get that done and get that uh, where it's supposed to be. I need a piece of uh, wire for that. So let me find a piece of wire for that and then I'll come back. Alright, what we've got there is the uh, tube socket mounted. It won't have any of the connections made. But uh, I will be doing that. I have my soldering iron heating up. I'm going to take these one at a time and get, hopefully get them all soldered. The uh, filament wires have been soldered onto the bottom of the socket. The uh, ground wire is on there. I got that on. Everything else is attached. Uh, I'm not really sure about that long. I think their measurements are a little bit off uh, when they want want you to make a, a wire this long and stuff like that that's way too long but I guess 
guess maybe I'll figure it out, but anyway, um, that may be the thing that connects to the 82 picofarad capacitor on that coil. If it is, I, mean, I can loop it around. It's not a problem. So, anyway, just wanted to show you what I was kind of up against here. I uh, I had to use my uh, drywall screws to get that screwed in. It's uh, not perfect, but it's tight in there. It's solid. It's lined up, and uh, that's all I care about. So. That should do that, and I'm uh, going to go from there and start making these connections, and I'll bring you back. I, I can't use my, uh, uh, what do you call it at the moment, it came loose from the uh, mount again. I'm, I'm having some problems with it, I don't know exactly why it's doing that. I think it may be the uh, rubberized coating on the bottom of that, uh, or on the, uh, I should say was on, I took it off, on this thing here. So, uh, I've got to try to figure out how to get that. To, it's getting loose to where you can't use that to tighten it up. And I really need to use that to tighten it up. <laughs> so, I'm trying to work on that to get that done. So, this last last part will be a shaky cam. So, stay tuned. Alright, we're getting there. Just about got all the... Um, connections around the tube socket done. I have these, this done, this done, this done, uh, this one, and if we turn around here, I have this one done, the input, and no I didn't put a capacitor on her yet, but I will, and uh, this one done, and this one done, and this one is already soldered to, that's where the lug came off. So the next thing I got to do is the, the hardest, to me the hardest part, is these three connections here. There's one on the 80, or not 82, 220 picofarad capacitor that needs a sleeve on it. There's one on this resistor and finally the uh, uh, hookup wire and then find out exactly where all those goes and then I'll, I'll try to <laughs> connect them up. <laughs> so that'll be fun. All right, we'll bring you back. All right, well, we're back once more, people. I have all wired up now. There's my 82 Pico capacitor going over to the other side of the, um, I forgot which one that was. Oh, this is the 82, this is the 220. Yeah, this is the 220 here going over to the other side of the 82. And we'll look at the other side, and I can show you a little bit better how it's soldered in there. So, everything is copacetic. Everything is like it's supposed to be. Um, the uh, hookup wire I brought around behind the coil. It just made more sense, because as long as it was. I don't know if that's where they meant it to be, but... it, it Like I say, it attached to the wire over here on the... Uh, where it uh, connects there. So that's the same electrical spot. It's not a big deal. The uh, other resistor, I think it's a set of 470, uh, 47K. It attaches right there. I just wrapped it around this wire here and soldered it. So that is all soldered in. Everything is done with the exception of the uh, line cord. I still have to put a piece of shrink sleeve, or not shrink sleeve, but uh, insulator on this uh, sleeve, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to do some cutting and shaping and things like that and get these where I want them at. Uh, they're a little bit uh, uh, not exactly like I want them. I want that one to be about that, that wide or that long right there, come in contact with that. And then I'll, I'll put the, uh, with a piece of uh, shrink tubing on it and solder that together and then we'll do the last one so i'll bring you back when that's done all right well we have here what we have here is the completed transmitter uh you can see i do have um, um this all done there's our line cap there going to ground and uh, i have uh, separate pieces of blue uh, 
heat shrink on each each one of the lines, and then I put a piece of yellow over the whole thing, and then used her uh, handy dandy attached thing there to uh, get it all attached down. And it is in there's the cord way over there, so that's all working. That's uh, what that looks like. Let me change this to uh, close up and see if I can get a better picture of this. There we go. I think you can see it a little bit better now. So I probably got a little closer than uh, I should, even for the close up. Turn it around a little bit. I think the coil come out all right. I think it's just uh, I think I'm gonna put some wood glue on there and let it sit overnight. I think it maybe stiffen that up a little bit. Anyway, I think that's gonna pretty much do it. Uh, probably won't test it tonight. I not up to it actually. I think I'll do that tomorrow sometime. Kylie's already went home for the evening and like I said uh, that's just about it from here I think uh, it turned out pretty darn good I think I'm, I'm happy with it uh, like I said it's just it's not perfect nothing I work on is perfect you know you guys know that <laughs> uh, I didn't didn't add a what do you call it now I'm gonna put one in the uh, in line with whatever I hook up to it uh, just for temporary. I will probably eventually put a cap in there, but I just didn't want to feel like doing it tonight. Like I said, that thing is getting tight in there. Tube socket, and like I said, I'll put wood glue on that this evening and let that sit overnight. So it should be firm in the morning. Firm, or I should say. So, there you go. That's what she be looking like. Um, anyway, I, uh, probably going to start on uh, something else here for long. i got to clean this bench up. You know how that works. So, You guys have a wonderful evening. I do appreciate you watching and we will see ya. <laughs>